Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. Helena is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor, loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. Cloud! Fucking cloud! You think you're so funny! Ain't that enough for you? Hey, where'd you go? Hey, cut it out already! <coughs> You fight like a baby fights! You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit.
I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. The door controls. That should pop it open. See the light in the tummy? Can I come out to play again, Mr. B? Jim dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Listen up, choppers. Get yourself hit! No fuck up this time! Daddy! Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Insert your ticket now. Half price for children under three. Don't you I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please, enjoy the park. Andrew Ryan wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympian. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here, he shouts to his crewmen as he wipes sleep from his eyes. Full stop. We begin building here. Refitted for heavy. 
heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo, a state-of-the-art submersible platform nicknamed the Sinker, ferries supplies and workers to the sea floor, fathoms below. After initial supplies have been brought to the sea floor, the platform is permanently moored in the sediment. Massive iron girders are sunk hundreds of feet into the rock and silt. Below the platform, engineers work to overcome obstacles such as diamond hard rock, obstinate sea life, and unexpected health. Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog eat dog. I wanted to see these dog eaters, so I waited until Mom was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Now that Big Daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good.
Take a breath, son. You did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. Daddy, you always save me from the monsters. We're in business. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture, and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. It's this way. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. is a child of the family, not a toy for you to exploit and discard. It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio in Ryan's shrine to the self. Here they come. Keep the splashes off her now till she's finished or they'll never give up the hunt. Now you know the stakes, son. But a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up. Why, hello there. My name is Andrew Ryan. I built the city of Rapture for children just like you, because the world above had become unfit for us. But here, beneath the ocean, it is natural to wonder if the danger has passed, if those we left behind will ever come to their senses. So, let us imagine, you and I, what might befall us on the surface. I told 
you about this. <laughs> Make him listen. Take it. Take it all. Come on, Daddy. It's close. What do you want with her? this scoundrel. I think all of the children have finally fallen asleep. And now that the park is all quiet, I can't sleep myself. I guess it's just you and me, Mr. Voice Recorder. You, me, and 1959. I wonder what the new year will Bags. It's gonna be fine. This way. On the surface, the farmer tills the soil, trading the strength of his arm for a home lands of his own, but the parasites say no. What was yours is ours. We are a state. We are gone. We demand our share. Ben and Daddy, over there. She don't even have to look at the baby. She won't even know it's there. Stupid machine! Fuck of junk! I've been rationing my supplies ever since the park got cut off from the rest of Rapture. Gotta stay strong. 
I'm holed up in this workshop, surrounded by those wailing brats, trying to beat their way in. They want my food, my guns. They want it all. But I got a plan. I'm gonna fix up the transport sub that's been rusting in the maintenance bay. Then I'm gonna get the hell out of this hole. These animals want rapture? They can have it. I do not hate you, Delta. Indeed, I care for you in equal measure to any other sentient creature. But I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. We've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there. The parasite makes nothing for itself. Its only tools are taxes and tithes meant to trick you into offering what it has not earned. In rapture, we keep what is ours. On the surface, 
the scientist invests the power of his mind in a single miraculous idea and naturally begins to rise above his fellows. But the parasites say no. Discovery must be regulated. It must be controlled and finally surrendered. An artist strives to frame his ideals in an image, to challenge his audience and make his vision immortal. But the parasites say, no, your art must serve the cause. Your ideals endanger the people. I just tell you ain't her real dad. Come on. <laughs> Lacking its own ingenuity, the parasite fears the visionary. But it cannot plagiarize, it seeks to censor. But it cannot regulate, it seeks to ban. Rapture was founded on an idea, and here they are held inviolate. Now Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. Our tin man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough Adam now. Barely. 
Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. 